Yo, 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 what's going on guys, what's going on guys, it's your boy Cam Legend And in this video I'm going to be speaking about the paradoxical word, freedom For as long as I've known, freedom is not free It doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend physical money to gain freedom But you do have to put up a lot of physical energy you do have to fight for it. You do have to understand legal systems, legislations. You have to empower your mind. You have to think outside the box. You have to be multidimensional in order to gain some kind of freedom. As long as you're here on earth, you will always be you will always be bound to something you always will have some kind of requirement that is not ideal new levels equals new devils even a billionaire is not free he just has some expensive toys to make his physical reality better but he will be bound to something so what can we do for the person trying to gain something out of this reality what can we do to gain some kind of freedom in this physical realm first thing i'll say you need to be open-minded remember that this word freedom is just a word and when we see people fight for other people's freedom, we have to realize that there's cosmic karma. There's ancestral karma. There's past lives that people don't want to speak about. Maybe there's lack of awareness. Maybe it's people's ego thinking that they can fix the world but in this video i'm here to speak about your freedom because we live in this paradoxical world where everybody wants to fight for others but they don't have the same intention when it comes to their own lives As long as, certain, as long as Saturnian energy reigns supreme here on Earth, you will always be contracted to certain energies. Being here on Earth is a contract. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual contract. And the opposite of contraction is expansion. So in order to gain freedom in this reality, you need to expand your mind. You need to expand your consciousness, your range of mobility. You need to be agile and flexible with your thoughts, your processing, because you can put yourself in your own esoterical mental prison box. Maybe you don't want to do this new thing because you don't want to be seen by others in this certain light. So you're judging yourself. You've now put yourself in the box. But if you was able to tap into the unknown or burst your comfort zone, you may now open a Pandora's box of new opportunities, places you've never been to, knowledge that you wasn't privy to, and doors that weren't open for you before. So freedom comes with the unknown. It comes with the unknown. 
And you have to have this inner drive to fight for your freedom. You need fire, desires, you need goals, you need tangible things that can help you get over the next step. And freedom goes in with like financial freedom. And in this realm, we can't escape that we need to make finances. And this isn't something that I see people speak about in the spiritual community, in the conscious community. People speak about, you know, manifesting and all of that, but, you know, we need to see, like, people need to see tangible things. Where's your manifestations? Or is it in, this, in, the, in the astral realm? I don't know. We need to see certain things because we're here. We're here right now and nothing doesn't, nothing matters unless people see results, unfortunately. That's how this, this is how this thing works. And in order to eat, in order to even live and survive, you have to feed your lower three chakras. Oh, I'm so spiritual. Fair die. Da, 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 da. But what about your root chakra? Balance these energies. What about your sacred chakra? Your, your solar chakra? Your solar plexus? You have to feed your lower three. And if you're not grounding... These thoughts, these desires, they will run rampant on you. They will run rampant on you. Because you have to realise that these lower three chakras, although they're angels of light, they also have a dark side. And... In order to tame your dark side comes with one acknowledgement that these chakras are wheels. <laughs> and just like a zodiac wheel, it has six signs in the light, then it has six signs in the dark. And your zodiac wheel also has a dark side because if you access, I don't really want to talk about it in this video, but if you access Darth, you now go into Clip Off, which is like the tree of life reversed, which is like tree of death. So you have to realize that you have a dark side. And this is something I don't hear spiritual people talk about. I understand why, but you have to tame those lower three primordial energies. And that is the only way you're going to get freedom, is through self-sufficiency, pride, wanting to wake up and get it. Feeding your desires, being happy with your desires. And then taming them. That's how I got to my enlightenment. Was through acknowledging that I'm polarised too. And the best way to deal with this is depolarization. But I have to make sure that my first free or fed, which is food, money, sex. Those are what most people want out of life. And that's what you, you're here for. It can't be escaped. And it's until you feed that to your full, your house is full, that you can now reverse the polarity and now be an angel of light. Okay? 
and understand that these energies always need kind of feeding. But the more familiar you're with these energies, the more you become able to tame it. And when you're not fed, when you're not sufficiently fed, these angels of light can be reversed and come out to bite you because your subconscious mind knows that you're not really happy. You're not really in alignment with your true self. Your higher self knows best and it will protect you. But there will come a point in this reality where it will do a course correction. And this course correction is usually harsh because it means that you've ray charged, AKA put a blind eye over it. And then it will come out like a thief in the night to show you that, hey, your primordial state hasn't been fed yet, okay? So feed your primordial state and you will realize that freedom can be achievable. And once you become a living example of that, you can now help others. Make sure you help yourself too. There's nothing wrong with being selfish. There's rarely not. Obviously, the word selfish is seen in a negative light, but realize there's a positive light to that too. Understand polarization. Self selfishness can be self-care, if that gives you some, some kind of affirmation in your subconscious mind. Make sure you're caring about yourself too. And then when you feel happy in a good space to, that, that you're satiated, help others. But don't get it role reversed because a lot of people help others but suffering inside. We see this in our society, okay? And then when things go tits up, everyone's like, oh, I didn't know he was going through this or I didn't know she was going through that. She was always smiling. She always had a smile on her face. Yeah. So this is it. Fight for yourself, fight for your freedom, then fight for others. And with that being said, peace.